What's the deal, y'all? It's your boy, Regame27, and once again, I want to thank you for joining my channel. And, um, I want to talk about Shigamiro Miyamoto. He, um, he came out and he basically said that he's pulling himself off the NX project, and that's a good idea, because it's time to get some young, fresh meat on, on that, uh, project. It's time to get these young folks on there, because it seems like, you know, keeping the same people that you know touching the nintendo consoles it's gonna it's gonna all they doing they digging themselves a deeper and deeper grave i'm just being i'm just being real just being real and he's and he basically he uh said uh, uh i pulled myself back out of some uh, hardware section and i'm really focused on some of the software that i'm involved in for example the new starbox game of course i am absorbing and looking at the hardware but i am not actively participating and making decisions. My motto was act actively designing and was heavily involved with the developing both the original Wii and the Wii U. So, like I say, that's uh, good news because it's time for the NX to have standard features. It's time for the online infrastructure, uh, infrastructure to be on par with the current generation with the PS4 and the Xbox One. And you know, and it's also another another rumor about the um, it's just wrong. I'm not sure if that's true that the NX is going to cost $150 and <laughs> Diddy Kong 2 is going to be one of the lunch games. But that's just a rumor, and I, it's kind of hard to believe that the that the uh, lunch of the system will be $150. That's that's really hard to believe. And if it was if it was $150, then it's going to worry a lot of gamers because a lot of gamers could be like, well. The specs still going. It's still not going to be up to par with the current generation. So, what the hell, Nintendo? So, like I say, it's just a rumor. It's just a rumor. That's what I'm not really talking about, to be honest. But with Miyamoto uh, coming out saying that he's uh, no longer going to be working on, that's good news. And uh, with uh, DNA, that's supposed to be working on their online infrastructure and. Like I say, I, their, their online infrastructure and their mobile device. So that's that's a good sign. And like I say, hopefully whenever the NX comes out, hopefully that it will be a lot more superior than the Wii U. Hopefully it will have standard features with voice chat, but you know, with, on, online, you know, with you know, with online gaming in general. Like you know, people, you know, not everybody could play couch co-op all the time. Everybody, a lot, a lot of people grew up, man. A lot of people grew up, of course, they're still children. There's nothing wrong catering to children. But Nintendo has to keep up with time and, and step out the 90s and get into 2015. It is not 1990 no more. It's 2015. And with the sales of the Wii U, that tells you. That tells you why. The mainstream audience don't want the Wii U. The mainstream audience, they want online gaming. The mainstream audience, they want power. The mainstream audience... They, they want to be able to stream their games on Twitch, which I'm enjoying, you know. With all those features that's on the Xbox One and the PS4, you know, that tells you why it's outside the Wii U. Even though the, the Wii U was out a year longer than the Xbox and PS4, that tells you why, you know. And when my motto, when he came out and he spoke on the... Um, the main reason why the Wii U wasn't selling, and the main reason why they kept that three hundred dollars because of the the cost of production of the gamepad, you know, the tablet. It cost so much for them to, to drop the price because they so worried about the profits. They want to turn profits on the basically the debt system. So that's basically uh, beating a dead horse. They're not going to drop the price on them on a system that gets what six to eight games a year, which is pathetic. But you know, by him saying that, that's the main reason why it's not selling me because of the the tablet market is is so strong that it's alienating a lot of sales for the Wii U owners and a lot of people are more focused on their their or iPhones or their their Samsung Galaxies. No, I I might have to disagree with that. First of all, market your goddamn system. They market the Wii U, put it on put it on the same uh, channels that um, Microsoft and Sony put their games on. Just advertise like they're supposed to put their games on billboards, you know, just whatever. Then they will see the sales of the Wii U will arise. And the only way that I will see a commercial, a Nintendo commercial, it has to be a Nintendo IP game. It has to be a Mario, uh, Smash Brothers, you know, or or Mar you know Mario Kart, whatever. It has to be one of their 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 big big franchises in order for Nintendo 
to heavily advertise our game like Splatoon. You know, Splatoon's a new IP. They heavily advertise this game. And there you go. It sold over a million already. So it doesn't matter the, the power of your system. The Wii had less power than the 360 and the PS3. But they advertise the damn thing. They, they advertise the, the, the hell out of that system. And it was selling like hotcakes. It was different. It had a lot of gamers, you know, older, younger games to play. And they had games. They actually had a lot of games on it. Which the Wii U don't really have that many games. So if Nintendo would advertise the Wii U, then I'm pretty sure the third party support would have been there. Which is being real. Main reason why third parties stop supporting the Wii U because Nintendo don't want to support the Wii U themselves. They don't advertise their games. So therefore, third parties, they basically are wasting their time developing games for the Wii U because you know a lot of the you know probably over half of the fan base are you know they they basically are fanboys you know more than half the, the fans i'm just being real the fanboys and all they want is mario's all they want is zelda's metro all they want is nintendo develop and publish games which is pathetic you know that's why i told myself that i'm not gonna pay uh, i'm not never again gonna pay 300 dollars for a nintendo system that only gets nintendo games I'm sorry. If I can't get Madden, if I can't get, get NBA 2Ks, if I can't get Call of Duties, Battlefields, you know, uh, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, all the the big hit blockbuster AAA games like you know Destiny, Titanfall, if I can't get those games on my system, then I'm sorry. I can't I can't pay that much. I'm sorry. I, I cannot pay that much for a system that don't get those blockbuster games. So whenever this NX comes out, I have to know more about this system before I drop money on that system because the way it's looking you know Nintendo's been a laughing stock in this gaming industry been a laughing stock in this gaming community and it's kinda hard for third parties to take them seriously anymore it's just being real and what makes it what makes matter worse you got these these fanboys these cocksuckers that will freaking defend this shit and you know and you still got these these fanboys defend the E3 that just happened, the digital event thing, that they, they actually thought that Nintendo won E3. <laughs> Are you serious? They actually thought that Nintendo won E3 after that bullshit we just saw. But wow. Like I say, man, that's why that's why I'm I have to disagree with my motto. Main reason why the Wii U didn't sell, no marketing. No marketing. And with the the Wii U name, come on man. Everybody thought that the gamepad was just an sorcery to the Wii. Nobody knows. If you don't market your system, it's not gonna fucking sell. Ding, ding, ding. Like, come on, man. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that shit out. So that's 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 one thing I didn't I didn't really understand. You know, that, that's that's why it's it's like it's hard to take Nintendo serious anymore because of the, the stupid decisions that's going on with this continuously. This continuous amiibo talk. Oh my god. Is this a gaming company or a toy company? <laughs> There's look and, and look look, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with collecting amiibos, but when amiibos take that much time on an E3 press conference, then something is fucking wrong. I am so sick and tired of hearing about amiibos. Like if they want to do the whole amiibo thing, save it on the Nintendo Direct. Not on the goddamn E3. That right there, I was like, you know what? Nintendo lost just by showing the Amiibos, they lost. That's just too much Amiibo talk. Too much talk of video games we knew that was coming out. Just, that was horrendous, man. I'm sorry. I, I'm just sick and tired of people, these fanboys, praising Nintendo's stupidity. And, like I said, hopefully whenever the NX comes out, hopefully Nintendo will correct their mistakes. But I kind of doubt it, to be honest. And I'm, I'm a, I am I'm still like Nintendo. I still like their games. But as far as me being a day one buyer, <laughs> I, I don't know if I could do that no more. I just I'm gonna have to wait until uh, you know their gaming library builds up. I'm gonna have to wait until if I see they have third party support, you know, these uh, have the uh, multiplats, the uh, big blockbuster hits, whatever. If if they don't have those and if third party still treating the way they are treating uh, the, the Wii U, then it's, it's kind of I can't I can't buy 
the uh, Nintendo NX day one. Or I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm going to buy it, period. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to uh, throw this up because my Moto he came out and basically he pulled himself off the project, off the NX project, which is a it's a good idea. That's they basically taking a step in the right direction. But I st it, it's like. It ain't like it was Nintendo's decision to to take him off the project. Mamoto took himself off of it. So you know, and another thing, Mamoto basically said the Wii U didn't didn't sell because of the gamepad with the with the tablet controls. You know, basically the tablets. You know, it's basically uh, it's basically you know it's a strong market for tablets. You know, with the galaxies and with the with the iPads. Well, you know, you know with the iPads and everything. So. I, 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 that's 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 what I'm saying. I I don't really understand because you know the gamepad only stays in the living room. And like you could take it outside or you could take it on the road, or whatever. It stays in the living room. It's still a part of a home console. It's still it's a home system. So and and plus it it differentiates itself from the from uh, the Xbox and the PlayStation 4. So basically, the gamepad was a good idea. It was just a very bad idea for Nintendo not marketing their system, which killed them, bit them in the ass, you know, which, you know, like I say, you know, basically just, um, they basically ran third parties away. That's basically all I got to say, but y'all just let me know how y'all feel about, you know, how about, about this, uh, what my motto said. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this NX come out, whatever. Um, what do y'all think Nintendo is going to do? Do y'all think the NX is going to, uh, release? next holidays or it's gonna be released in holiday 2017 do y'all think it's gonna be another gimmick do y'all think nintendo is gonna um you know fix their mistake their mistakes or you think they're gonna fuck up again y'all just let me know how y'all feel about it uh like comment subscribe and share my video and once again it's your boy reagan 27 and y'all have a good day